What's up, people? Welcome back. Well, this is one very serious uh, topic for Windows PC users, in my opinion, and I may have to do this in two parts. This is about CryptoLocker. I first got heard or got wind of CryptoLocker um, last year, late fall, and you know it was one of those situations where you know my probably my first thought I can't remember exactly my first thought about yet another virus was uh, gee whiz whoop de doo another virus for Windows blah 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 you know I I don't have any issues with viruses and if I get it I'll just clean it out and restore my PC and I'm good to go. Well, <clears throat> CryptoLocker. Let me go here to the wiki. And I'm doing this because I realized just how serious this was. Last week there was a, a journal, um, a, a segment on the news, interviewed a lady, and she got hit with this rather nasty, rather uh, rather impressive piece of malware for uh, PC users. Now as far as I know, this does not affect Linux. So if you are using any form of Linux, you're good to go. But if you're not, and you've been hit, this is bad. Basically what it does, this piece of malware, what's referred to, I guess, as ransomware, this secures your files, locks them uh, without your permission. And it says here, your personal files are encrypted. Now normally, if you encrypt your own files and secure them, you've got your own key and you're good to go in terms of security. This just flat out locks them. And it can be videos, documents, you know, photos, and so on. And it says here, encryption produced a unique key, and it is a private key. Ooh, private key makes you feel important. The single copy of a private key, which allows you to, to decrypt the files located on a secret server, ooh, on the internet. And the server will, <clears throat> excuse me, destroy the key after a time specified in the window. After that, nobody and never will be able to restore the files. Now, you can pay the fee, uh, a ransom, and it says here uh, you need to pay uh, $300. I guess in the beginning it was $100, $300. I guess now it's as high as $700. Last I heard, who knows what it is now. I have my opinion about this and what I think about this uh, fee. Uh, but I can't tell you because I try to keep this a family channel. But those of you who follow me and know me, you can pretty much guess what's on my mind. I just can't tell you uh, publicly. I'll let you figure it out. It says here, any attempt to remove or damage the software will lead to the immediate destruction of the private key by the server. Um, I guess some people have paid. Some have gotten their files back. I guess some have not. Don't pay. You're just telling them, hey, it's cool to do this and keep on doing this, so we'll just keep on paying. So don't pay unless you really, 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 really have to. Don't pay. Now, if, if you get this, it can be removed. Uh, usually when I clean PCs, whether myself or someone else's, I'll use uh, several different pieces of anti-malware. I like Avast, and there are free versions of this. Avast, uh, Super Anti Spyware, and Malwarebytes. Now, the last computer I did for someone took me took me about a couple hours. It was a computer that was not hadn't been cleaned for a while. It did not have this, but it realistically, comfortably, to where I felt like I could reboot several times, run a final scan, and it was clean. It took about a couple hours. Now, it may or may not take you that long to clean your computer. If you have this in addition to any other pieces of malware that you may have. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm still trying to uh, shake this cold, but I wanted to tell you this because I don't want this to wait. Hopefully this can be prevented for someone out there who doesn't yet have it. Moving along here, it can be removed. Uh, as I stated, you can try a, a vast uh, in conjunction with the other ones, malware bytes and super anti spyware. There are th free versions of those, and they are all excellent pieces of shielding for a Windows PC. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe the free version of malware bytes, uh, pretty sure, will remove 
the uh, virus and the paid version of either super anti-spyware or malware bytes will help prevent this from happening to your computer or again or if it's, or if, if it's never happened keep it from happening period now once you do this again the, this this may take you hours what you do is you do what you got to do you run the scans with all three to be safe make sure it's clean and you're probably now my PC is not infected and I have no intention of testing this you will probably have to go into the registry editor as you see here and you're gonna to have to remove any remnants of this nasty piece of malware I'm not sure where it would be maybe under H key users I don't know for sure but you're probably gonna to have to do that to remove the last parts of it and be careful going into the registry because you can definitely uh, mess up your computer now here's the problem with doing that if you do all this okay let's say you do all this you know and your computer's clean and you're you know whoop de do you're happy you're thanking me thank you for the heads up and this and that um, <clears throat> well no you just I hate to say this but you just wasted two hours or whatever time you just wasted two hours of your life because removing the malware does not unlock your locked files so whatever has been encrypted previously while getting that piece of malware removing the actual virus does not solve the issue and you're, you're in effect still uh, you're left with a non-functioning or semi-functioning computer because you cannot get to your very important file so in my opinion doing this to clean it out is a waste of time I'll just be honest about that because it does not solve the underlying problem you still want to clean it out in my opinion uh, the only way to be sure to clean it out is to reinstall the system that's why I always recommend having your restore disks ready to go when you buy computers most computers Windows those PCs uh, you should be able to at least with some of them to create your own your own restore disks and or you may have you'll have to check depending on the uh, computer model you may have uh, several hidden partitions with restore capability at boot to give you the option to do a full restore of your computer before it got the nasties um, I'm gonna leave it for this I'll, I'll leave it here as far as crypto locker goes and I will upload another video when I'm feeling better soon of what you can do to prevent this from happening and what you can do but for now make sure your computer is up to date with all the latest antivirus from what I understand the malware bytes or super anti spyware I think it's malware bytes the paid version if you don't have the the crypto locker already I believe that one will help prevent it and of course make sure your computer whether you're using Linux or Windows or Mac uh, make sure of course all the updates are installed and secured all right well that's all I have for this uh, be on the lookout for this make sure your computer is up to date as I stated with all the latest updates thank you so much for watching and listening subscribe if you haven't and as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.